I'm back. It's been some weeks, maybe two, maybe three, but I'm back. So let's get right into it. We're going, how you doing? How you doing? Are you a believer? You better get to be one if you're not. So, first of all, we're going to say our prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for allowing us to meet together again, watching over us, keeping us safe, helping us to understand your word, coming together as a family. This is not by coincidence. This is your divine purpose. And we pray, Lord, that if you're not a believer, Lord, that you find something in today that will make you a believer. In Jesus' name, amen. So, the question we're going to get to, put my glasses on. This is a good one. It was left in the comments, and I told the young man that I was going to answer it on the channel. So, here's what it says. How did Lucifer turn bad? Number one, how did he grow arrogant? I thought he was created perfect. Where did he learn those characteristics? I'm like, mm. okay, how did Lucifer turn bad? Well, let me tell you, I did some studying. I wanted to get it right with you so you know exactly what happened in this whole process. Lucifer became so impressed with himself. His beauty, intelligence, and power, and position that he began to desire for himself the honor and glory that belongs only to God. The sin that corrupted Lucifer was self-generated pride. That's what happened to Lucifer. Lucifer was an angel. And imagine this in your mind. We're going to go to, let's say, a church scene. And you're the choir director. Your job is to direct the choir. The pastor of the church tells you he wants you to do a song that you don't want to do. Well, he's the pastor of the church. That's not your church. You're the choir director. But you want to do your own thing. So instead of you listening to the pastor and doing the song he asks you to do, you want to do your own thing. So the, guess what the pastor's going to do? He's going to give you walking papers because you disobey you don't listen. That's what happened to Lucifer. He wanted to do his own thing. He was not in charge. God is in charge. We are created to worship. He didn't want to do that. He wanted to do his own thing. And the Bible says he was kicked out of heaven. Isaiah 14 and 12. You are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground. You who weaken the nations. Read on and you'll read some more about exactly what Lucifer wanted um, to do. That's Isaiah 14 and 12, okay? Now, that's we. God made us um, in his image and he also gave us free will. He gave us his characteristics. So he developed them things on his own. Free will means if you want to act stupid, you don't act stupid. He wanted to act stupid. But let me give you some information about Lucifer. Lucifer's name is only mentioned once, and that's the only place in the Bible that Lucifer's name is mentioned. Because once he got kicked out, he was no longer Lucifer. You know, he became the devil. And let me give you some story about the devil. The devil's, that's his title. Let me get that right. That's his title. That's not his name. That's his title. The main title for the fallen angelic being who is the supreme enemy of God and humankind. Satan is his most common name. That's his name. The devil is his title. And devil is what he is. The devil, he is a false witness, a malicious accuser, a murderer. He is in direct opposition of everything God is or all he wishes to do. He is the source of all evil 
and wickedness. The devil is our worst enemy. This is one enemy Jesus does not want us to love. He is an enemy of Christ, the church, and the gospel. He and he and he is tireless in his efforts to uproot in good and evil. <clears throat> and so evil. So this character, the devil, one purpose. Bible says, steal, kill, and destroy. That's his purpose. And when, it, when I look up Satan, Satan also has high intelligence. Through it, he deceived Adam and Eve and took over the rule of the world for himself. And see, when he got kicked out of heaven, he started working on Eve. Start working on Eve. He got into the serpent, start working on Eve tricked Eve and Adam and Eve out of their, what God had given them. So, and I'm going to tell you this about the devil. One thing we do, we spend too much time listening to him. Poor Eve. All that talking she was doing with the devil, she did not one time say, you know what, devil, hold up, hold up, hold up. All that you're telling me, let me go ask God is what you're saying true. But she took all that time talking to the devil. He convinced her to take that fruit and eat it. We spend too much time talking with the devil. When he comes to your mind, let me tell you how, how, how tricky he is. The devil comes and what he tells you to do First of all, it's not in line with the word. It does not, it's not going to match with what God says. That B-I-B-L-E, what he says is not going to match up. Another thing he does when you know it's the devil, he comes quick. Something about to happen. He comes real quick. He gives you a suggestion real quick. Mm -mm. And he's going to keep going about it. Keep going at it. Keep going at it. Keep going at it. You know it's the devil because it's repetitive. He's going to keep talking the same thing. Get out my ear. But that you know it's him because he's going to stay in your ear repeating the same thing, repeating the same thing. Well, what he's repeating is not lined up with the word. You know it's the devil. God speaks real humble. He's going to come real soft. He's going to say it. He's going to let it go. You're going to listen to him or you're not. But he's going to come real quick. It's going to be real soft. It's going to line up with the word of God. And that's it. You got to know the two different voices that's in your mind because the devil works in your mind. He works in your mind, okay? All right. I want you to get that because you asked the question about, like, he got, we, we got God-given things God give us. So I hope the answer you. I hope the answer you. Okay? All right, next question was from Cheapskate. Hmm. Cheapskate. Hmm. If God is real, why did he make us imperfect? He was not made imperfect, honey. He was made in God's image. There is nothing about you imperfect. Now what happens is the things that you, that God gave you, because God made you in his image, his characteristics, everything that you got made from God. You're not going, you don't have the, the uh, you're not in line with, you're not, you're not perfect. There's one perfect person and that's God, but you're not in perfect as far as your, your ability to do things like think on your own, your characteristics are, you know, they're, they're you. You ask God for um, the ability to, a good personality, okay? You have the ability to go to work. You have the ability to walk, the ability to talk. You know, these are things that animals uh, can't do. You go to an animal, he can't talk to you. He go, roof, that's Mr. Doggy. But you have the ability to walk and talk. And you don't have it on four legs, you human, mankind. So you were not made imperfect. And you cannot have the power that God had. I hope you wasn't thinking like that. You know, there's only one God. Okay? And the next question. 
it's um why I know how did me and Berlizzi become so close? Well, he is my baby boy and he's the last one out of three. My only son and um I don't know. We just we're both Sagittarius and I don't know, I'm a, I'm a mother, I love him. And we just I don't know. You had to ask him that, I guess. But because I love him, he's my son. Now, anything else I don't want to say. Look at all this behind me. You know I love him, you know. I'm proud of him. You know, he does a good job as a son and as a brother. He's a very good person. He, um, from the moment that he had his niece, uh, my, my, son, no, my daughter had his niece, he stepped up and, and took care of her. You know, so he pays her tuition for school. She doesn't pay her own daughter's tuition for school. And she's in private school. So you got to thank him. I love you, Berlizzi. So um, that is that. You know, I wanted to make sure I got back with you about the Lucifer thing. I don't like the devil. You know, he is not my friend. He's not your friend. He's here to take your life. You know, any chance he can get, he's going to take your life. So be mindful of that. And if you're not a believer, ask God to come into your heart to create in you something new, to give you the willing spirit to love him, to get to know him, you know, get to know God, get to know you're going to need him. This world is going away quickly and we have to pray. Those who are believe in God, we have to pray, Lord, that you heal our land, you know, heal our land. But first you got to ask God to come to your heart. And creating you the right spirit. And I will see you again. I have a surprise for you coming up. You and the family. You know what? Wherever you guys are, when you comment, let me know where are you, like what state or what city you're in. Because I got a surprise for y'all. Because you guys are the um Mommy Easy Bible study channel. And you guys get stuff first. And yes, I saw hip hop Harry. I told you guys. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. But something else is coming up. I don't want you guys to know, but I need to know what city you're from and what state you're from. Okay, be blessed, stay out of trouble, and stay quarantined, quarantined until time is up, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.